Hello again. In this video, you will learn how to reset the login name and password of the U100. It's easy to forget this because uh, we force you, when you first connect this unit, to set your own login name and password. The reason is simple. We want to avoid that everybody on, this, on the world has the same login and password, which was admin and 12345. So we force you to set your own login and password. What happened? Everybody quick, 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 quick. Then after five minutes, oh my God, I forgot the password. And then you cannot enter the setup page anymore. So how to reset it? Well, it's quite easy with this model. So first of all, we need to disconnect the power. By the way, what disconnected is power, SDI out in this case, and network to the PC by the network switch. So I remove the power. Then at the back of the unit, there is a ben bench of service switches. We only need to have number one and switch it on. So I switched on number one and now we power it again and as you see it's orange and now the green LED is blinking. This is fine. It means it's understanding your message. You want to have the network parameters initialized. So we can set back the service switch one to normal and just wait because this blinking will this blinking is still going on at the, mo at the moment it will take about one minute and then the unit will reboot itself finally so this is the page by the way you get to see when you cannot enter the setup menu and you did give three times the wrong password I think you know this page very well to find if you don't know the IP address of the camera so this is the easy IP setup tool I use so at this moment the camera is there ah, now it's switched off so it will reboot it's gone so and now the LED should come on totally green it's still orange because it's booting up yes we wait until it comes back. If you don't have this easy IP setup tool, just go to our website, this one, the Panasonic Pulse website, and click software download. Then on that page, you will we'll find all firmwares for the remote comes and the studio comes, but also the tools. And one of the tools is easy IP setup software so there are two versions uh, a complete version with a lot of functions but for this demo video I use the simple version because for me that's enough I just want to see the IP address and access the camera let's see if the camera is back online yes it is so now I click this one and I say access camera and voila there we are again so the camera reacts like a new one uh, not for the other menu settings, so the camera menu stays unharmed, but the network is reset. So now I need to set again a login name and a password. So at min, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then set. Okay, the unit says to me, please take a longer one, but I'm happy with this one. And then after 10 seconds, the camera should come back online. It's a long waiting and a dark video is not interesting for YouTube. But anyway, it's part of our life. And yes, there is the camera back again. So now I go to the setup page. And oops, it didn't even ask my <laughs> admin. Okay, anyway, normally it will ask your password and login so in my case it's admin and one two three four five thank you for watching this video and see you next time bye bye